With recent events, you're gonna have to see me like this now. Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. This is TWG, and uh, let's get strapped in. Two thousand years later. In this video today, we're just gonna look at a surprising fact that looks like it's fact, but. You understand when I just say his name and you're going to see on screen, uh, Rafinha. Is Rafinha failing or flopping at Barcelona? And if so, why isn't anyone talking about it? Well, for starters, the, uh, the, guy, the guy is just 25. The guy is 25 years old. He's supposed to be basically in his prime right now, going into his later 20s. Uh, but let's not forget, he spent most of his time in Leeds after leaving Sporting for Leeds. And the man, you know, his values still have his values of 50 million. And stats from transfer market this season don't look nice. In 15 appearances overall in all competitions, he has one goal and two assists. Mm. That is... Uh, that is that is that's depressing. In the Champions League, he has started all the ma He started all but one match, where he was on the bench against the against Pilsen in the first match where they won five one. So he wasn't needed. He played sixty one minutes against Bayern, sixty four minutes against Inter, sixty four minutes against Inter again, and thirty one minutes against Inter. In all those matches, he didn't really do well as it says here uh, starting three matches substituted in one match on the bench one and suspended for nil uh, he has no injuries so that kind of rules out the fact that he's not doing well and but for international in internationals he's got two goals and two assists in two international games he's participated in uh, playing 79 minutes against Ghana and 65 minutes against Tunisia, who we just talked about in the previous video, uh, which I would fancy... I would pro yeah, this is, a, this is a shameless promotion. Yeah, after you're done with this one, you can watch the uh, the Tunisia video that I made, just made yesterday. It's It explains why what I mean by this Tunisia thing. But, yeah. Now, we look at La Liga, and... Um, Okay, stats aren't everything, but we have stats for now. And in his, um, I think it's 12, I think it's his tw in 12 games he's played, he's played six, he started six matches, substituted in five matches, and the bench won and not being suspended. In his first game, he played 60 minutes, didn't produce anything in the nil no draw. That was a very boring one. I watched the game because I was very excited to see Barcelona's new project and what levers could get you in uh, La Liga. And uh, they played Real Sociedad. They won four one, but he was brought in and was brought in late and only played twenty six minutes. Uh, against Rayo Valladolid, he scored. I mean, he provided an assist in a four nil win. Against Sevilla, he scored once. That's his first La Liga goal and his only goal in La Liga. And his other contribution came in a recent match in, in the 29th, where he provided an assist for the only goal in for the only goal against Valencia. Now there is a common fact that a lot of these Lever players, if you want to say, uh, are underwhelming as much i mean people let's get this straight like even though robert Lewandowski is scoring and he's second goal scorer in the league that doesn't really say the whole picture in that in the three most important games for barcelona thus far he hasn't scored a goal against in any of those three matches the two matches in the champions league against inter Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I think he scored in the 3-3 draw. But yeah, in the for now I'm just going to say in the two matches against Inter, he didn't score. Against Bayern, he didn't score in the Champions League. Uh, twice against Bayern, he didn't score. 
in the end in the El Clasico, he was a ghost. He was a ghost in the El Clasico and also missed an important chance that would have made the result a bit more uh, interesting or a bit more worth seeing. Yeah. So that that's the conversation for another video to talk about all the new players that Barca had. But for now, I'm focusing on Rafinha. And that Rafinha really hasn't done well. He's been playing as a right wing mostly, of course, because he's a right winger. But uh, and he's also played left wing. I think that was to accommodate Dembele in, in the same match as him as well. And when you th go through his club records, it's it's a bit strange, you know. This man isn't supposed to be doing this. He actually started out in the Leeds under 21s team. I didn't know that. So, oh, wait, no. Wait, this makes... Wait, I don't get it. Okay, no, no, no. So, we're just going to read it as it is. Uh, he's played most of his games for Victoria Guimarães in the Brazil in the Portuguese league, where he scored 32 times and 13 assists in 84 matches. That's, that's a relatively good output. And it shows that the guy was really up to something. When he was just starting, you know, 45 goal contributions in 84, in 84 appearances is, is something that we all want to have as players. But at Leeds, Leeds, he also did well in the 67 games he played, 17 goals and 12 assists. That's a um, that's another good goal output. Uh, Sporting at nine and five. Uh, at start, Rene actually. Uh, I think this is, this is a one season, 36 games, eight goals and seven assists. And okay, yeah, what I'm just trying to trying to say is that he had a lot of hype when he was moving from Leeds to Barcelona. In fact, a lot of people said that Leeds are losing a very important player and are losing one of the best players they've had to a very good club, which made sense at the time. When you saw these players being picked by Barcelona, you had Rafinha, Frank Kessie, Robert Lewandowski, Jules Kunde, Hector Bellerin, although I disagree heavily with that choice, uh, Andrea Christensen. And also using players like Lalawa, using Dembele, who was shunned out of the squad by Ronald Coleman, and every other manager that has been there before Xavi, before Xavi uh, you saw something, you know, you saw you saw a Barcelona that could at least compete against the the two, I mean, the three biggest clubs in Spain, Atletico Madrid, Sevilla, and Real Madrid. And so far, they have failed the first test against Real Madrid in the Clasico, which is the biggest test of them all. And they have to prove their wits against these two teams, who have also been underwhelming this season. So in actual sense, Barca are performing way better than these other two teams because they're second in La Liga. But that second in La Liga is sort of a lie, if you want to if you want to put it like that. That second is a lie, and it doesn't really show how they've been playing in all the 15 games they've played so far. Is it 15? No, I think it's 11. 11. 11 or so games they've played so far. It's a it's a big lie. It doesn't show what really, really has been in the squad. About, uh, that's really been going on in the squad. The squad has been underperforming, underwhelming. Have, most of the players have gone ghost. Xavi fails to control a midfield something he was good at and i mean the use of youngsters like pedri and gavi just doesn't really click to me you know i think that especially gavi i think he's too young for him to be in such a squad right now i feel sergio busquets still has a lot to offer but that's a story for another day in conclusion has it has or is Rafinha failing at Barcelona? The stats say yes. For a winger who rarely produces goals even for those previous sides, but a player of his quality should be produced should have at least had Dumbele, should have Dumbele stats, especially when it comes to assists. 
should have Dembele's should have Dembele's stats. But truth be told, Dembele has been way better than Rafinha, which is a worrying sign when you've got someone who is literally labelled a flop two years ago and couldn't even get out of the treatment room is better than you. That 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 that's a, that's that's something that's something different, man. So <clears throat> in my in my weird eyes, I see a very underwhelming performance, but not a complete flop. Just like how I see Darwin Nunez as being an underwhelming player, but not a complete flop. So that's my opinion on. That's my opinion. Uh, you can interject at any point in this video in the comment section. You can call me a nonce if you want. You can call me any single word that diminishes my character and my credibility in the comments, and I will not. I will not hesitate to reply and ask you to I'll ask you for a one-on-one -on -one fight in the parking lot at Asda. You. <laughs> I don't even live in England. Why did I say Asda? <laughs> anyway, uh, this is your boy TWG. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'm going to be here. Bye from a Zambia. <laughs>